All right, I had to stop what was going on here so I could tell you this story. We're in Birmingham, Alabama. We're here at the Jackson Galaxy Project. We're doing a shelter teaching workshop for all the shelters in the area. We're walking down the streets, very busy area downtown Birmingham, trying to figure out how we're going to do a tour of Greater Birmingham Humane Society. Suddenly, there's screaming, and believe me, I know the sound of a cat screaming, even as busy as it was. There was a cat under a car. Next second, we're getting the cat going to Greater Birmingham Humane Society because we have a cat in a backpack now who has to get to the shelter. Anyway, watch this, it's crazy. <coughs> what are we gonna do with you? <coughs> what are we gonna it's do with okay. you? This is actually happening. I know, my love, I know. Honey, 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 bunny, my love. You have to stay in. We're gonna be on the way to the shelter. Having just found this little baby, who I do not want to let out of this back hide. So off to the shelter we go. Earlier than expected, we were gonna to tour the place anyway. <laughs> Okay, in the backpack. I mean, otherwise, she would have been traffic. I'm just saying that you're a girl, even though I'm not entirely sure. We're going to see if she has a home. We have, she has a collar. Now the next step is to scan for a chip, which we're hoping she has a chip, because if not, getting her home is going to be pretty tough. Fingers crossed. Our friends over at Greater Birmingham Humane Society were ready and waiting for us. we are. The cat had a collar, but no ID tag, so a microchip was really the only chance we had at finding their home. No. <laughs> no. Okay. No chip. We have a collar, but no chip, which is problematic in life. At least you're in good shape, babe. You are, girl. You're a boy. Congratulations. You're a boy. You're a little boy. He's lovey. Oh, my goodness. Oh my you are just a lover oh boy. God. There we go. It's not so bad out of the backpack, huh? We're now being officially christened Gerald. We're going to see if there's any lost reports out for him. We're going to check with Petco Love Lost and see if anybody has reported poor Gerald missing. Have you seen my human? Petco Love Lost is really amazing. It's a free lost and found database that uses facial recognition technology to reunite lost pets with the families who love them. Now you get to see how we're going to take care of Gerald here at Greater Birmingham. First, we're going to get him a wellness check. Look at you. Yeah, come on. Oh, you're bigger than I expected. Let me see how much you weigh. Oh, but boy. Okay, you're not gonna let me do that. That was Perfecto. So that's flea and tick prevention. And then now we're going to be one. The exam showed that Gerald is a very healthy and very talkative six month old kitten. Yucky. And then normally we uh, do like a neck band with their ID and their name on it. How's that feel, Gerald? We are oh, nice. Oh, nice, oh, Gerald. Oh, nice, Gerald. <laughs> Gerald is officially intake here. At Great Birmingham, is a seven-day stream. Well, so that means his potential guardian has seven days to come back here and get him. Otherwise, he'll be put for adoption. Gerald was, of course, Mr. Popularity during his seven-day stray hold, and he got to spend more and more time with Casey, the director of outreach and education at GBHS, who crafted a little bed and a place for him to sleep in her office. He was just so sweet. He hated being in the kennel, and so he would be yowling. And as soon as you open the kennel, he just runs up to you, and he's so happy to get pets and he's quiet and he's purring and yeah. perfect and super sweet. The more time Casey and Gerald spent together, the more they bonded. I don't usually get to work with the animals in the shelter. And when I am with cats, they rarely love me right off the bat. <laughs> And Daryl did. So that was your litmus test. That was it. The litmus test was, wait a minute, you love me? <laughs> That's fantastic. We um, came to our relationship. He had an 18-year-old cat and I had a 13-year-old dog. And they both passed in the same week. Oh. And so we... I, I'm so sorry, you guys. Yeah. It was a rough week, but we have uh, two dogs left. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, that was in October. Oh, got it. Okay. So these guys passed in October. Was there a plan to get another cat? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Casey, you're like, well, there wasn't really a plan, but... No one came forward to claim Gerald during that stray hold, and Casey was ready to take him home, but her partner needed a little gentle coaxing. Hey, Aaron. Now listen, I'm standing here with Casey. It's not every day that I will say... Anybody is okay to be with Gerald, but in this case, I think that I'm just giving my blessing is all I'm saying. And it doesn't come around every day, so take it 
and take Gerald and live happily ever after. And just don't even question it. It's the right thing to do. I apologize in retrospect for video bullying you into it. <laughs> or no, no, no. Oh, Folks, no, no. It was very sweet. I have never seen Casey react this way to an animal. So, wow. I'm bored. Look at how's he feeling? He did great. Surgery went well. His recovery was perfect. What's he doing now? What what kind of trouble is he getting into? So he is uh, up on the changing table. He he tried to climb a soft pamper and thought it was solid. And it did not work out well. <laughs> oh my God! Look at him. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you, buddy. Oh, you are so fancy looking. Well, congratulations, you guys. Thanks. And to him as well. I got this big smile on my face because, like I said, it's just been a long time to be able to see someone go through the process of being lost and now found. I am so glad that we could help Gerald's story end happily ever after. But that's not always the case for shelter cats. And that is where you come in. Your local shelter is full of cats just like Gerald, all waiting to find their families. So what are you waiting for? Meow.